Three years after the BP oil spill and we are still seeing its effects. We all remember when more than 200 million gallons of oil spewed into the Gulf of Mexico following that oil rig explosion that left, left 11 people dead. Tonight, tar balls continue to wash up on Alabama's beaches. Anchor Sally Pitts went back to the coast to look at the potential danger that's lurking in the water in a story you'll see only on WSFA 12 News. Just this year, crews have collected more than 8,000 pounds of tar on Alabama's beaches. That's equivalent to the weight of two cars. WSFA 12 News picked up at least two pounds in a short walk yeah, along Orange Beach vein. back in March. Yeah, and this is part of the beach that hasn't been nourished. Beachgoers were surprised to learn tar balls are still washing up three years after the spill. We've seen uh, quite a few. We took the tar balls we collected to Auburn University researchers to find out if this oil is in fact from the BP oil spill. Why do we have the tar ball problem in Alabama? Auburn University professor Dr. Prabhakar Clement has studied the BP oil spill since tar started washing up on Alabama shores. Here's our, our storage, okay, and, and it's very precious for us. And you can see so we got all kinds of samples from day one. Dr. Clement has run an analysis on each of his samples and confirmed it did in fact come from the BP oil spill. He and his team of researchers will do the same with the tar balls WSFA 12 News collected. They'll answer two questions. Is this tar ball a result of the BP oil spill and why do we care? First, they'll run the analysis to look at certain compounds to tell if this is BP's oil. And, and so this is exactly like a, a crime scene investigation. You essentially look for fingerprints. Dr. Clement's test reveals the fingerprint from our tar ball is a match to BP. The sample did actually come from uh, Deepwater Horizon. Next, the researchers run a chemical analysis. Because these are one of the most carcinogenic or cancer farming contaminants. That's right, the chemicals Dr. Clement says he found have been known to cause cancer. Dr. Clement compares our sample to the ones he has collected over the past three years to determine if the chemicals are breaking down. His findings are troubling. Some of these compounds, when they get trapped in the tar mats, unfortunately not, they're not going away and they're persisting, which means they are getting into the environment and that has a potential ramification. We don't know, we don't want to scare people and say, Hey, it's, 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 it's hollow, Hill. don't go to the beaches. No, that's not the case. Uh, all we want to say is, well, science doesn't know certain things. That's why he says it's important to continue to study the oil spill and its remnants that continue to wash up on Alabama's beaches. And maybe it will be okay. Maybe it's so, so small it will be okay. Maybe it won't be. When we tamper with the nature, let's be very careful. We reached out to BP for a response. A company spokesperson told us a government study found the concentrations of this residual oil are below EPA established levels of concern for human health. He added, BP has spent more than $14 billion and nearly 70 million personnel hours on response and cleanup activity. The company says BP remains committed to address residual oil should it appear on the shoreline. Sally Pitts, WSFA 12 News. Right now at WSFA.com, we are taking a closer look at the tar ball problem and how they form in the Gulf. You can also read right now a published report about Auburn's research and get BP's full written response. That's right now inside this story at WSFA.com.